Now we're recording. Okay, rolling. That was weird. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do not sing that. <laughs> you fucking dick. Too late. Hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Ashley, I like to laugh, but tax fraud is no me. joke. Welcome back to another movie commentary reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. buds. We're finally getting to Legally Blonde. Long requested. I haven't seen this in a long time and I've been kind of looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the last time I saw it, I was a kid. How old? No shit. I think the last time I saw this was in high school, 16 maybe, and I don't know if I even saw the whole thing. I'm pretty sure I saw the whole thing. It's yeah, right. Def shit memory. I definitely remember this song. I don't at all. Yeah. But I definitely feel like intros from this time all featured this kind of punky rock. Punk light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> somewhat punkish yeah 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 i remember me and my brother used to take the piss out of it though anytime like something good happened we were just like perfect day <laughs> yeah. you know i'm looking at this um intro of the, it's a pretty good cast oh yeah no yeah, there's a there's victor a few, garber yeah there's a few like fairly big names here yeah yeah man a fucking college dorm rooms in the states really like this like holy shit i mean some maybe i don't know like you always see them in movies and they're like so ridiculously extensive like these little mini <laughs> communities What's based on a book? Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. I think it was like semi-autobiographical. Hmm. Or entirely, I don't know. Yeah, I think I was something like that. Nah, because I remember reading about that. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Oh, he's such a good boy. Does he get a treat? Bruce, what's this? He doesn't get a treat. Uh, you yes. dick. <laughs> good luck tonight, Alan Warner forever. It's so cute. <sighs> I'm still waiting for her to remember this doggy treat. I'm sure she's getting it now. You guys are so sweet! But I'm not positive it's gonna happen tonight. You know he got the rock. Oh. Can't believe you're getting engaged! Okay, this part I actually do remember, kind of. You guys have to help me pick out the perfect outfit. I think you should go with the red. It doesn't go well, does it? I don't understand why you're disregarding your signature color. What? This. I can't look like I would on any other date. Oh yeah, I think it goes badly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanna look special. There's nothing I love more than a dumb blonde with daddy's plastic. Mm. Mm. I see. Bit rude. We just yeah. got it in yesterday. Is this low viscosity rayon? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> with a half loop top stitching on the hem? Absolutely. It's impossible. It would snag the fabric. Uh. I saw it in the June Vogue a year ago. So if you're trying to sell it to me for full price, you picked the wrong girl. Oh my God, yes. And she nice. loves her fashion. Nice try. Girls. <laughs> This is it. Good to know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'll be the future Mrs. Warner Huntington the third. <laughs> this movie is like such a stealth bomber because it's like just disguised as a dumb blonde movie, but it's like, no, 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 she's smart. Well, I guess that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Man, look at this dick. Oof. Sunglasses indoors at night. You look so beautiful. So do you. Her friends are just chilling there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Approving. Is this normal? Yeah, he seems very cool with it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I have an audience for everything. Yeah. <laughs> they get them mixed up. Spray <laughs> perfume right in their mouth. Like, <laughs> Elle. Yes. <clears throat> One of the reasons I wanted to come here tonight was to discuss our future. See, that kind of talk always concerns me. Yeah. Law school is a completely different world. I plan on running for office someday. I fully support that one. Awesome. Yeah, she is not prepared. I need to stop dicking around. <sighs> Oh. I completely agree. Oh no. Well, that's why I think it's time for us. You explained this terribly. Pooh Bear. Why are you fucking smiling like that? Shouldn't you be sad? I, think I we do. Should break up. <laughs> what? That, so, so what just their whole relationship was dicking around up until this point? Yes. You're breaking up with me? That's what he's saying. Prick. <laughs> yeah. I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. So you're breaking up with me because I'm too... Dude. Blonde? Oh. Kind of. It's not entirely true. No, it's pretty much. Somewhat. My boobs are too big? <laughs> <laughs> when you said that you would always love me and you were just dicking around? Yes. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. You have no idea the pressure that I am under. My family has five generations of senators. Oh, man. Dude, I feel like you're doing this just specifically because you want to dick around. <laughs> or he's just a shallow prick who sees her as dicking around because she's too pretty bad salad. Also, I love the logic of like, oh yeah, I'll break up with you in a public place. 
<laughs> what if they make a scene anyway? <laughs> Plenty of people will. Yeah. And then you look like an asshole in front of a bunch of strangers. I mean, I personally don't care about that, but oh. embarrassing someone in front of a bunch of strangers is a whole other story. Oh, yeah. I definitely don't want to embarrass anyone. Extra douchey. In public. Come on, let me take you home. Yeah, but I get the feeling he was doing it there, so that way. Oh, yeah. He's trying yeah. to minimize the damage, mm. but it's like, that's stupid. Yeah. But I think it's the right thing. How can it be the right thing when we're not together? I mean, he's a dick. Oh, yeah. So that's definitely the right thing. Yeah. You're breaking up with me because you're afraid your family won't like me? East Coast people are different. I don't feel like this guy really feels emotions. Yeah, no. You know, like the guy with the big fake smile who seems oh, yeah. charismatic. But oh, like, yeah. Do you have a soul? Big smile, but nothing behind the eyes. Yeah. The Tom Cruise effect. <laughs> the Patrick Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> Which was based on Tom Cruise, yes. right? So there you go. I grew up in Bel Air Warner. I think most people would agree that's a lot better than some sticky old Vanderbilt. I need someone serious. She's the fresh blonde of Bella. <laughs> I'm seriously in love with you. Isn't that enough? I mean, Pooh Bear. How can you be in love with this guy, though? I know. Just get in the car. No. You're gonna ruin your shoes. Okay. I love she took the ride to save the shoes. She's got a fucking priority straight. I mean, that's fair. I don't blame her for that. The heartbreak is temporary, but Gucci is forever. <laughs> is it though? I don't know. Yeah, it probably isn't. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, have either of us ever owned anything Gucci? <laughs> no, I've specifically avoided it. Fair enough. <laughs> I've also avoided it. <laughs> yeah, not because I was poor. <laughs> because you're not going to remember anything after tonight. See, now I want a box of chocolates. Yeah, no, the same. No matter what, you're a part of me. I love you. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> you know you have to clean those chocolates up. What's the one thing that always makes us feel better? Fair nice. enough. Take care of yourself. Oh my god. Do you know who this is? No. That's Warner's older brother. Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking at this guy like, um, should we? Yeah. Third year Yale Law student Putnam Bose and his fiance. This is the type of girl that Warner wants to marry. This is what I need to become to be serious. Ooh. Practically deformed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rough. Law school? I love how they're trying to be like, she's kind of blonde. It's like, no, no, she's kind of insane. Mm. I love it. Going to Harvard is the only way I'm going to get the love of my life back. Uh, Law school's for people who are ugly and <laughs> serious. Like I managed to make that positive in a weird way. Yeah. Harvard Law School? That's right. That's what she's doing. But that's a top three school. Oh, I have a 4.0. I mean, if she has nice. the grades. Your major is fashion merchandising. So? Harvard won't be impressed that you aced history of polka dots. So what, she's going to have to, like, maybe study something else quickly? What are your backups? I don't need backups. I'm going to Harvard. <laughs> uh. Well then, you'll need excellent recommendations from your professors and at least a 175 on your LSATs. No, hang on. Is she going from one college to another? What are you doing? She's studying. Yeah. Reading about the LSATs? Getting fucking learned. My cousin had that. Apparently you get a really bad rash on your... <laughs> the LSATs are an exam. I'm going to Harvard. You mean like on vacay? Let's all go! Wait, ha what? Road trip! Yeah, you know, why, why you... Is there anything else to see there? I'm going to Harvard Law School. This is very confusing. Yeah. What kind of vacation would that be? Once Warner sees me as a serious law student, he'll totally want me back. It's a completely brilliant plan! It's great that she's going and that she wants to get learned and shit, but Obviously all the wrong reasons. My name is Elle Woods. I'm gonna tell all of you why I'm gonna make an amazing lawyer. Why are you in the hot tub though? I'm skilled at commanding the attention of a room and discussing very important issues. Reminds you of the one in um, How I Met Your Mother when Barney makes the like video to help Robin get the job. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm able to recall hundreds of important details. Seriously. Do you know what happened on Days of Our Lives yesterday? Why? Why are you in a pool? Once again, we join Hope in the search for her identity. It's supposed to be sexy. No, I didn't get that much. <laughs> well, you kept asking why. She's trying to get into freaking law school. <laughs> what does being in a pool have to do with law? <laughs> Pool laws. 143. So not good enough. Not good enough. She needs like 175, right? Yeah, something like that. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> I object. I remember, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. It's here. <gasps> she passed. Oh, no, no one's, no one's checked. God damn. <laughs> Imagine having this many supportive friends. Yeah. I love that they're actually happy for her. Yeah, everyone's hyped. <laughs> Yeah, no, no one's like the two-faced backstabby one. At least as far as we can tell. Oh wow, holy shit. This is... 
I have never been celebrated like this for literally anything yeah. ever in my life. Not even close. I'm so jealous. And that's why you should vote for me. <laughs> why? 2000s are a wild, lawless time. Fashion major? Well, sir, we've never had one before. Aren't we always looking for diversity? Yeah, that's what you're looking for. She also designed a line of faux fur panties. She's a friend to the animals as well as a philanthropist. See? Eco-friendly. Elle Woods. I mean, look. Welcome to Harvard. The way I see it is if you got the grades, then... Exactly. <laughs> you can't judge. Everything else is just opinion. Yeah. I still just find it funny how she had to prominently display her bikini like three times. Oh, yeah. Just to make sure. Bro, that's the money shot. <laughs> Aw. So Not least she knew who would be on the board. <laughs> No, I like to think that she didn't. She just thought that that was the best option. <laughs> She's like, isn't this how you make videos? <laughs> I look amazing. <laughs> what do you mean is not a good idea? University town. Is Harvard like a whole town? I don't know. <laughs> I've only ever heard of it being referred to as the uni. Uh, yeah, but it seems quite large. How much shit did you bring? <laughs> I think that whole van is hers. I ought to be a rich kid, right? Yeah. This is our new house for the next three years. Oh, are you thirsty? Um. Okay, let's get you some water. Got a whole lot of people checking her out. Check out Malibu Barbie. Where's the beach, honey? Ew. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. That is adorable. That's so good. Guys, this way. Hey, dog needs a drink. As if that isn't the most fucking precious thing you've ever seen. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> I like the way she and like, I know it's interesting, but Jesus, guys. Class schedule, map, book list. My social events calendar is missing. Your what? Social events. You know, formals, clam bakes, trips to the Cape. They don't have any of those. Oh, this is not a fun college. Okay. Uh, has Warner Huntington III checked in yet? No. You know, maybe you should check with the cruise director on the Lido deck. Rude. Dick. My name is David Kidney. For the last 18 months, I've been deworming orphans in Somalia. Okay. Why do you look so sketchy about it? I'm Enid Wexler, got a PhD from Berkeley in Women's Studies. I single-handedly organized the march for lesbians against drunk driving. Right, so... It's been suggested that Stephen Hawking stole his brief history of time from my fourth grade paper. <laughs> Man, I'd just be listening to this like, why yeah. do you need to tell me all this stuff? Hi, I'm Elle Woods, and this is Breezer Woods. <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree in fashion merchandising from CULA. I was a Zeta Lambda new sweetheart, and last year I was homecoming queen. <laughs> Wait, so do people just hop from uni to uni? I guess. Two weeks ago, I saw Cameron Diaz and I talked her out of buying this truly heinous Angora sweater. Whoever said orange was the new pink was seriously disturbed. She's right about that. Yeah, she is. Orange sucks. Yeah, orange is the worst. Wish me luck, Bruiser. This is my first class as a serious law student. So I love how they're painting her fellow students as kind of weird. Yeah, because they are. I totally look the part. You're going to be like that bothered by someone else's dress choice? Mm. Seriously. Yeah. You need a hobby. That's true. I literally don't care what anyone else is wearing as long as it's something. Yeah, exactly. You know, keep your pickle in your pants. <laughs> no. Uh. Leave him alone. This tool. Just, no, avoid. Avoid. Oh, no. That's the oh, whole no. reason she came, though. Yeah. Elf? Yes. yes. Ah, nice. Good play. Warner? I love it. I didn't even see you there. I totally forgot you go here. She's a smart girl. They're setting that up. Yeah. I'm sorry, are you here to see me? No, silly. I go here. You, you go where? To this school. Harvard Law School. <laughs> you got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? Yeah, you're not so special. I'm planning this great mixer. You totally have to help me. You dated her for a while. Did you not know she was smart? I really don't think you did. This is going to be just like senior year, except for funner. Being bubbly doesn't equal dumb. Time to go. I have to go to class. Hurry, right, Mike. It's just attitude, mm. not intelligence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A legal education means you will be taught to achieve insight into the God. world around you. That is a boring looking classroom. Yeah. The seat you have picked will be yours for the next nine months. Devo, you can't have any other seat. Wow. And those of you in the front row, beware. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> She's like, this is the splash zone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the law is reason free from passion. Does anyone know who spoke those immortal words? No. Oh, oh this guy. Yeah. Aristotle. Of course, we're going to get a whole lot of him. Would you be willing to stake your life on it? He's like, my life isn't worth that much anyway. <laughs> I think so. Someone else can deworm <laughs> orphans in Somalia, right? What about his life? I don't know. I recommend knowing before speaking. 
And you were right. <laughs> it was Aristotle. <laughs> Blood pressure is finally lowering. <laughs> it's like I knew it all along. <laughs> right. All of you have read and are now well versed in subject matter jurisdiction. Uh, no. Let's call on someone from the heart, sir. No, don't. Yeah, of course. Why? You gotta be a dick. Yeah, look at that smug face. She just wants to feel superior. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, you don't belong here. Um, I wasn't aware that we had an assignment. Oh. <laughs> Vivian Kensington, do you think it's acceptable that Ms. Same. Woods is not prepared? Mm. Selma Blair. I don't. Would you support my decision to ask her to leave class? To return only when she is prepared? No, she paid to be there. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good point. <gasps> I always hated that shit. Yeah, it's school. I mean, to be fair, I guess you do have to sort of own your way in with this kind of thing, but... Look, yeah, I get that, but it's also like, motherfuckers, I paid tuition. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking stay. Yeah, true. Like, what are you gonna do to kick me out? Exactly. This isn't high school. I'm a grown-ass adult. That's <laughs> true. I came here to learn. Fucking yeah. stop me. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Luke Wilson? How you doing? Looking young. Yeah. Goddamn. So if you don't know the answer, they're just gonna kick you out. So you have Stromwell, huh? Did she do that to you too? No. She did make me cry once. I mean, not in class. I waited till I got back to my room. Smart yes. man. Good move. But yeah, she'll kick you right in the ball. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, you don't have balls. Speak up in Callahan's class. He really likes people that are opinionated. And in Royalton's class, try to get a seat in the back. He tends to spit. Ew. The splash zone. <laughs> oh God, no. About. <laughs> <laughs> For Leventhal, make sure you read the footnotes. Right. All right, so Luke Wilson's our love interest, right? Yeah. I'm really glad I met you. You can tell pretty easily. Are you a third year? Hey, well, I'm a... Hi. Thanks for all your help. Good luck. I like that he was just helping her to be helpful, though. For sure. Hi, Warner. Hi. Uh, how was your first class? Good, except for this horrible preppy girl who tried to make me look bad, but you're here now. How was your summer? It's good. Did you do anything exciting? Oh, God. So this is his... Uh, you met uh, Viv? Viv? Yep. Oh, hi. Vivian Kensington. Do you know her? Was that why she's being shitty? She's, uh... I'm his fiancé. Wow. That was real quick. Over a summer? Fiancé? Damn. Jesus, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just hallucinated. Did he have her on the side? What? Maybe. She was my girlfriend in prep school. Well, we got back together this summer at my grandmother's birthday party. Uh-huh. Uh, I see. You're famous at our club. Why? But he didn't tell me you'd be here. So shitty. Pooh Bear, I didn't know she would be here. He's using the same nickname for her. Excuse me. Yeah. Classless. <laughs> Self-care. No. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> She's on a fucking mission. Jesus Christ. It's an emergency. Okay, so <laughs> oh look at the traffic jam. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. <laughs> it's Stifler's mom. Yeah, I was going to say. Jennifer Coolidge. Are you free? It's an emergency. Bad day. You can't even imagine. You know what? Now I want a donut. Yeah. Fuck. I know. All to get my boyfriend Warner back, and now he's engaged to this awful girl, Vivian. I just wish I had never gone to Harvard. Yep, you went to all that trouble. She's got the six carat Harry Winston on her bony, unpolished finger. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> someone's so short, she casts quite a bit of shade. I'm with my guy eight years, and then one day it's, oh, I met someone else. Move out. Oh, no. Dewey kept the trailer and my precious baby Rufus. What? I didn't even get to throw him a birthday party. Aww. Followed his pecker to greener pastures. And I'm a middle-aged high school dropout. He's got stretch marks and a fat ass. There's nothing wrong with the stretch marks and a fat ass. So what's this Vivian got that you don't have? Three tits? I don't think having three tits would be an advantage. <laughs> Depends who you talk to. I suppose. Huge Total Recall fans. Yeah. She's pretty as you. She's not completely unfortunate looking. Hello, ladies. Hey there. Wait a minute. No, that's not him. No. For a second there, I almost thought it was Bruce Campbell. Yeah, same. Mm. See you later. Nope. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, it's her love interest. So are you sure this Warner guy is like the one? Mm. Definitely. Why though? I love him. No, well, because he's good looking and charming. Is he though? Yeah. I mean, he looks like a dick, but still. See, to me, that just kind of undermines it straight away. Well, sure, but we're experienced. Sure. What are you waiting for? Steal the bastard back. I should warn you that in addition to- Hey. 
Yeah. Of course you remember him. You will also be competing for one of my firm's highly coveted internships. Oh, he's basically the same person. Where you will get to assist on actual cases. Hang on. So he's a professor and... Let the bloodbath begin. Has his own law firm as well? I guess. That's interesting. Ms. Woods. Would you rather have a client who committed a crime malum in se or malum prohibitum? Did you research those terms? Neither. And why is that? I would rather have a client who's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Dare to dream, Miss Woods. I mean, wouldn't you though? Yeah. Ms. Kensington, which would you prefer? Malum prohibitum. Then the client would have committed a regulatory infraction. Well done, Ms. Kensington. Um... Oh my god. Jesus. Chill out. It has been said. Yes, Ms. Woods. I changed my mind. I'd pick the dangerous one because I'm not afraid of a challenge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought she was actually going to like, I don't know, get nerdy. Yeah. But nope. No. No. She's getting cool. shady. <laughs> Hang on. Why are the Harvard guys playing football? Because they have football in, in college. Nah, motherfucker. You're studying law? Just give it up. <laughs> Oh god, guys, chill out. Hi. Chill out about what? About her. They're all they're all ugly. Oh, I yeah. just thought new dudes were turning up. Nah. The game has stopped. What are you doing here? I've come to join your study group. And look, I brought sustenance. Mm -mm. Our group is full. What? <laughs> We all share one stomach. Oh, is this like an RSVP thing? It's like a smart people thing? Jesus. We're full. Come on, guys. We can make room for one more. Ow. Oh, the study group oh, is full. Oh, right. The answer is no. I thought she was saying that all our stomachs are full. We yeah, yeah. They no can't muffins. eat muffins. Yeah, same. Fucking get turned down free muffins. Can't be that smart. Oh, okay. I'll just leave then. They're like, but, but muffins though. <laughs> just let her join. <laughs> yeah. Muffins. <laughs> I would. Maybe there's like a sorority you could like join. You know, if you had come to a rush party, I would have at least been nice to you. Is that before you called me a dyke behind my back? I don't use that word. You must have heard it from Vivian. Oh, I mean. Throwing around a lot of assumptions. I love how she has to have a furry phone. Yeah. It's got to be comfortable, right? It's got to fit the aesthetic. <laughs> Did you get the rock yet? Yes. Mm, sure. Almost. <laughs> Definitely. Well, hurry up so you can come home. We miss you. How long did they think that going to Harvard was going to be for? Well, they thought that she was just going to get him back. Yeah, but what was it going to take a few months? The people here are so vile. It's like, oh, technically you're at Harvard now, so I believe that you're serious. Yeah. Eight o'clock at 45 Dunstan Street. No way. Is somebody at the school actually having a party? Yes. You didn't recognize their voices? Nope. But it's a costume party. You probably wouldn't want to come. Wait, what? Why would she not want to come? She's lying. I love costume parties. Well, then I guess we'll see you there. Oh. Yeah, she's lying. <laughs> yeah, see, bruising nose. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. Playboy bunny. Oh, no. Yep. What? Everyone's going to be boring as fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh. No costume. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what's up? This is what I normally wear. You guys just wish you could pull this off. I mean, that is true. I don't know so many people that could pull that off. Thanks for inviting me, girls. This party is super fun. Nice outfit. I like your outfit too, except when I dress up as a frigid bitch, I try not to look so constipated. <laughs> oh my God. This is such a good bun. She's horrible. I mean, what? I'm sorry, she's she's horrible? Oh, please, yeah. Up until this point, she's been pretty nice and respectful. Yeah. How you doing? And even that was just, like, deserved. Oh, yeah. You know? That's why I'm petitioning to have next term be referred to as the winter o vest. What's up, X? Wow. I got dressed up. What do you think? Well, don't you look like a walking felony? Wait, what? The hell? How? What's with the costume? I just decided to dress up. Sure, earn it. I love how she didn't bother, like, going yeah. to change or anything. She's like, nope, no, well, no, nothing. I'm here now. Yeah. Can't imagine doing all this and Callahan's internship next year. I'll show weakness. Come on, you're never going to get the grades to qualify for one of those spots. You're not smart enough, sweetie. Buddy. Whoa. I'm sorry, what now? Did we not get into the same law school, Warner? Yeah. Yeah. We're taking the same classes. Come on, I'll be serious. You can do something more valuable with your time. I'm sorry, more valuable? Is what you're doing not that valuable? I'm never going to be good enough for you, am I? Oh, come on. Just forget it. I'll show you how valuable Elle Woods can be. I mean, yeah. She did do all the same shit. No. Hey, Luke. What's up, bud? I love how she went straight there. Don't ask. 
wasn't gonna. I also love how she really just doesn't think that the costume thing's that important that she's gonna actually bother changing. Oh no. It's like, I got shit to do. She committed to the outfit. <laughs> no, she committed to everything here. Books. What else yeah, would she can fucking read. Jesus. So, like, what else would you carry? Yeah. Oh, hey. that was nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> See, I get the feeling that guy's actually probably really nice. He's just yeah. weird. Oh, yeah. File the claim. What next, Ms. Woods? You need reasonable belief that your claim should have evidentiary support? Don't be that surprised. And what kind of evidentiary support? I like that she just rolled with it, though. Yeah, that is a good way to study, by the way. Yeah. Work out and study. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Does she pay like half price for the dog or something? The purpose of diminished capacity is to negate men's rays. The fact that she's still wearing the bright, colorful outfits and stuff. Yeah, I exactly. love that. Exactly. And I love that the teachers are supportive and oh, like, for sure. oh, cool, awesome. The teachers are basically just like, hey, you get the answers. I don't care. Are you ready? No. You can do this. You're ready. We're all here to support you. Oh, she's getting the dog back. <laughs> what the hell do you want? A dog. I just thought you maybe just I could. You could come here and show me what I'm definitely not missing? Bro. That's not why I came by. How many times are you going to come over here begging me to take you back? Ooh. Ew. I'm Elle Woods, Miss Bonifante's attorney. Do you understand what subject matter jurisdiction is? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Due to just, habeas corpus. She's just going to throw out some general legal oh, yeah. jargon. Had a common law marriage. It's like... She gets the dog. Yeah, yeah. Entitles her to what is legally referred to as equitable division of the assets. Come again? Miss Bonifante is entitled to full canine property ownership. <laughs> and we'll be enforcing said ownership right now. Tell him, Paulette. It's like, yeah, I want my dog. Give me my fucking dog. I'm taking the dog. There you go. Dumbass. Hey. Nice. Oh, oh. Pooch. Bobby. Please, must be a nice vacation for his balls. Thank you. Using her powers of law for good and justice. Swinney, who is also a private sperm donor, was allowed visitation rights. So if we're sticking to past precedent, Mr. Latimer wasn't stalking. I love her laptop so much. The defendant was an habitual donor who also happens to be harassing the parents in his quest for visitation. Without this man's sperm, the child in question wouldn't exist. Is it the point of being a sperm donor that you're kind of giving up your rights? Pretty much. You're not the parent. Yeah. Yeah. You're the sperm donor. Yeah. Yes, Ms. Woods. I have to wonder if the defendant kept a thorough record of every sperm emission made throughout his life. <laughs> yeah, he definitely didn't. Interesting. Why do you ask? Unless the defendant attempted to contact every single one night stand to determine if a child resulted in those unions, he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. True that. Why now? Why this sperm? Fucking A. Yeah, it's a good question. And for that matter, all masturbatory emissions where his sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be termed reckless abandonment. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you've just won your case. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ms. Woods, you did well today. Really? You're applying for my internship, aren't you? She's like, I am now. I don't know. Do you have a resume? Yes, I do. Oh, she's prepared. Ain't that nice? Oh. Look at the days when you carried a physical copy on you. It's pink. And it's scented. I think it gives it a little something extra, don't you think? I love that. See you next class. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. There he's, you go. He's like, oh, Versace? <laughs> you think she just woke up one morning and said, I think I'll go to law school today. Yeah. Yeah. That lapse in judgment aside, I think she's got a lot of potential. I mean, is it really a lapse in judgment? What's that? It's a resume. It smells good. Hey, you're gonna remember. Dude, I would love to get a scented resume. Callahan's firm is defending a murder trial. He's taking on first year interns. Order, we got it. <laughs> of course, so those two plus her and... Me! <laughs> How do you like me now? You judgy motherfuckers. Do you remember when we spent those four amazing hours in the hot tub after winter formal? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much better than that. Excuse me, I have some shopping to do. <gasps> nice. <gasps> Fuck yes. Four hours. He had Viagra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sup? Didn't expect to see you here. Dear God, that suit is disgusting. Yeah, and you would know. I would. The suit man. Mm. You look very nice today, Vivian. Thank you. Welcome. See, she's still nice. 
I love that she's never an asshole. We're defending Brooke Wyndham, whose very wealthy husband was found shot. Gold digger? She was rich on her own. Wait, are you talking about Brooke Taylor? Yes. You know her? She's a Delta new. I used to take her class at the Los Angeles Sports Club. She can make you lose like three pounds in one class. That's not a good thing. In all likelihood, she's completely guilty as well. Three pounds in one class? Holy shit. She was seen standing over her husband's dead body. By who? His 26-year-old daughter and the pool boy. Sorry I'm late. Hey, see? Here you go. This is Emmett Richmond, another associate. You've probably seen him lurking around campus doing my research. Oh. Thanks for the introduction. He's not a student. Right. What do you know? I just don't think Brooke could have done this. Exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husband. Um. I mean, she's not technically wrong. I didn't do it. However. <laughs> but. I saw my husband lying on the floor. I bent down to check his heart and then Enrique and Chutney ran inside. I know her. Yeah. Where they saw you standing over the body covered in his blood. Why would I kill my husband? The love affair. Believe me, the DA will come up with plenty of reasons. There are a lot of reasons. Yeah. I loved him. He was 34 years older than you. Show them a picture of his dick. <laughs> that might clear a few things up. Okay. A jury is gonna want an alibi. Well, I can't give you that. And if you put me on the stand, I'll lie. Alrighty. Hey, I know you. I'm a Delta New. You took my class in LA. Uh-huh. Damn right. Are you one of my lawyers? Yeah, sort of. Well, thank God one of you has a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Callahan totally thinks she's guilty. Paulette Bonafonte. Oh my God. Hey. Oh man, is this like the pornos? Does he have a package for her? He does have a package for her. <laughs> I've got a package. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been waiting for your package. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, come on. Say hi. How you doing today? Hi. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Take it easy. See you later. That was... That's great, Paulette. Technically a start. Is this the only interaction you two have ever had? No. Sometimes I say okay instead of fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you offer him a cold beverage or a neck massage? Or just ask him how he's doing. Yeah. You have all the equipment. You just need to read the manual. <laughs> what? Do you know what I'm saying? I like that analogy. I'm going to show you a little maneuver that my mother taught me in junior high. It has a 98% success rate of getting a man's attention and it has an 83% rate of return on a dinner invitation. Those are very specific numbers. How many times have you done this? It's called the bend and snap. Enough times, I guess. Yeah, apparently. <gasps> I dropped something on the floor that I need to pick up. Oh, really? Oh, this one. That, that's what you're going with? So you bend and snap. What's, what's the snap? I yeah, I know. Why? Who picks things up like that? Yeah, and how does that get someone's attention? Bend like, and snap. Okay. What? A little less bend, a little more snap. What? Like this? <gasps> Good snap. I don't get it. You. I'm still very confused. Wait, is everyone, do is everyone doing bend. this? We're all doing it. Okay. We're all getting involved. <laughs> Is this where we learn that she's a good teacher? Yes. <laughs> you get a fan and yeah. I'm sure everyone could figure out how to do this. He just comes back in like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> They're filming a music video? Uh, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that will definitely get his attention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Along with everyone else on the street. <laughs> yep. If Brooke didn't kill the guy, then who did? My money is on the angry daughter or the ex-wife. Chutney has a trust fund. What about the mother? Covered. She was in Aspen at the time. Well, all I know is that it's not Brooke. That's touching out. We need an alibi. Yeah, you do need some actual yeah. proof. Hot evidence. <laughs> I brought you some necessities. Some Calvin Klein 720 oh count sheets, some aromatherapy candles, and the Bible. <laughs> You're an angel. That's a very nice care package. Oh, yeah. You look so orange. It's good to be rich. <laughs> Professor Callahan says we really, really need your alibi. I can't. You don't understand. Who could understand better than me? It's so shit. She looks scared. It would ruin me. How? Oh, I can't remember what it was. I've made my fortune with Brooke's butt buster workout. You helped me go from a six to a four. It's great. It's a lie. Yeah. On the day of Hayworth's murder. I was getting Wait. She was getting liposuction. I was getting liposuction. Huh? Liposuction! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fraud! This is not like normal women can have this ass. <laughs> Lose everything. Ooh. I'd rather go to jail than lose my reputation. She's a fake natty. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Your secret's safe with me. That's not. Thank you. 
Yeah. Like it can't be. It can't be. Vivian, grab me some coffee. She needs to use that. Yeah. According to this communique from the prison, our client apparently had a visit from her sister, a Miss Delta New. No. <laughs> <laughs> I went to get her alibi. What is it? I can't tell you. Okay, now she's being naive. Why the hell not? I promised her I'd keep it a secret. This is a murder trial, not some scandal. Yeah. I want the alibi. Yeah, she's gonna go to jail for a long time. I can't give it to you. But I can tell you she is innocent. Yeah, that's not how it works. This is Wyndham Vandermark is online too. Someone reason with her while I take this. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cares about Brooke. Think about yourself. I gave her my word, Warner. So what? That yeah. sounds shady as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ex-wife seems to be unconcerned at her interview is today. She's at a spa. Uh, isn't that kind of like your mothership? I could go if you want me to. I'm sure you think you're real funny. Emmett, go with her. love how she's just unfazed by that. This one is just fucking tired. Yeah. This is a person who's made her living by telling women that they're too fat. Brooke would never tell a woman that she was too fat. Um. She seems to me like she's hiding something. Mm. But maybe it's not what you think. Maybe it's exactly what I think. You know, you're really being a butthead. This is the problem with hiding things. Why would you call me that? You know, Emmett, you just need to have a little more faith in people. You might be surprised. With your astoundingly butt-shaped head. I can't believe you just call me a butthead. He does need to look at the road a lot more, though. Yeah. Mrs. Wyndham Vandermark? <laughs> <laughs> so, you found me. We're from Austin, Platt, Jarrett, and Callahan. Oh, God, she's like a human burrito. Jesus. I hear that that little tart shot poor Hayworth. Well, that's what we're trying to prove didn't happen, actually. Never actually met the woman, but my daughter tells me she can be quite the little bitch. <laughs> um. Did your daughter ever mention anything to you? Well, she did say that they humped like gorillas. Great. I really don't feel like the daughter is a very great source of uh, reliable information. Oh, yeah. I guess it wasn't enough, though, for Brooke. Why do you say that? Haven't you seen the cabana boy? She's lying. Did you see the icky brown color of her hair? So? <sighs> what? Now you discriminate against brunettes? Yeah. The fuck? I'm discriminated against as a blonde. Doesn't justify it. <laughs> yeah. Being a blonde is actually a pretty powerful thing. And I personally would like to see you channel it towards the greater good, you know? Thanks. How do you think I look as a blonde, you know? Terrible. Really bad. I'm not sure you can handle it. I mean, we already have an example. He's got a bit of a broken nose. His brother. Wait, what do you want about? Owen Wilson oh, is a blonde. Fuck. Yeah, yes. Bruh. I didn't know that Owen Wilson was his brother. You didn't know that Owen Wilson, who looks exactly like Luke Wilson with a broken nose. I just thought they were very similar. I never actually thought of it. They're the same last name and they look the same. I don't know. Wilson's a common name. Bruh. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could go out sometime. No, you're a dork. Hey. Rude. He's trying. I can't believe you'd even ask. Girls like me don't go out with losers like you. And here's where she uses her privilege for good. Excuse me. Why didn't you call me? What? <laughs> we spent a beautiful night together and then I never hear from you again? I... Have a good answer. I'm sorry? Yeah. There you go. Good start. For breaking my heart or for giving me the greatest pleasure I've ever known and just taking it away. Come on, dude. Uh... Roll with it. Both? <laughs> I've already spent too many hours crying over you. <laughs> so, when did you want to go out? Seriously though, I hate that stereotype in movies that the girls will actually turn you down like that, real harsh. Yeah, yeah. That, that does not happen. I mean, I've never seen it, at least. Yeah, I've been shut down a lot. Are you done with that deposition yet? Oh, yeah, here. What I like less is how that girl is clearly an asshole, mm. but then it's like, oh, now I'm interested in you. Dude, why would you want to go out with her? I don't she know. clearly sucks. Yeah. I still can't believe you didn't tell Callahan the alibi. It's not my alibi to tell. I know. That is fair. Mm. And I thought that was very classy of you. Really? Sure. And to be fair, if the girl wants to go to jail for her secret... It's her choice. Yep. Warner doesn't even do his own laundry. He has to have it sent out. <laughs> mm. Grow up, buddy. Jesus. Did you know when he first applied? He got waitlisted. What? Wait, what? Oh. He got put on the waiting list. Of course. Yeah, because he's not actually that smart. His father had to make a call. You're kidding. <laughs> These dudes like that are fucking always inadequate. Well, but also it's just like acting like you're a smart person doesn't make you smart. Yeah. Oh, there's such a precious dog. Hi. His name is Bruiser. Do you want to hold him? He's very friendly. I kind of like how they were like not getting some big comeuppance on the female rival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like... Oh, it's like we're taking a negative turn into a positive. I'm getting the feeling here that her big win is not actually going to be embarrassing either the ex or his new fiance. It's just yeah, going to yeah. be her moving on. Yeah, yeah. And succeeding in life. I, I think so. 
At least I'm hoping that's the way it's going because it yeah. feels that way. Yeah. And where was she exactly? Standing over my father's dead body. What was the defendant doing? Well, she was sitting next to the pool while the Latin boy handed her a drink. <laughs> oh, what fuck. The, the caricature artist? Okay. This is the uniform that Mrs. Wyndham asked you to wear? Yes. He seems very happy about it too. Oh, he's proud. Are you or are you not having an affair with Brooke Wyndham? Define affair. Oh, so yes. Have you and Mrs. Wyndham had sexual relations? Yes. Okay. But she's not on trial for cheating. Court will reconvene tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. You know a Delta Nu would never sleep with a man who wears a thong. I just like watching him clean the filter. I believe you, Brooke. Take care of me, Al. I mean, what does it matter if you slept with the guy or not? Because it implies that, you know, she was willing to kill her husband to get with the pool guy. <laughs> To hook up with, like, I know it's stupid. That guy. I know it's stupid. <laughs> hey, he's ready. <laughs> he's been ready for a while. I got a big one for you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Can you sign? Say more words. Come on, turn around. Oh my what are you god. doing? <laughs> no, she's putting her stuff down. But he's just right. rearing to go. Use words. Nope. What are you doing? Drop it. Do it. <gasps> You're going to drop the pen? Yeah, yeah. The stylus? Very much on purpose in front of his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Slow-mo? Not even slightly <laughs> accidentally at all. She's like, oops. My bad. Go for it. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You broke his nose? <gasps> oh, fuck. My snap was all over the place. <laughs> she snapped his nose. Yeah, she sure did. Rude. He seems like that kind of guy. Just because you have to be that confident to wear that kind of shirt doesn't mean you can carry that confidence in other places. I don't know if I would call that confidence. Don't stomp your little last season Prada shoes at me, honey. Oh, oh. right. Our last season. <sighs> Wait, that's the early 2000s code for he's gay. Yeah. Damn it. Enrique is gay. Back up. How do you know that he's gay? Come on. Gay men know designers. Straight men don't. That's all. He did leave a share tape in the pool house one time. While I appreciate your theory, I have a murder trial to attend to. Yeah, see, the problem is that's no kind of proof. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Well, if it's provable. Yeah, if you can, if you can, prove, if you it, can yeah. prove it, sure, yeah. Do you have any proof that you and Mrs. Wyndham were having an affair? Only the love in my heart. If that's all the proof that he has, Your Honor, I think I'm done here. That's fair. You may step I'd like to ask a couple of questions, Your Honor. Interesting. Just give me a couple minutes. Okay. Go hard, Luke. Do it. Did you ever take Mrs. Wyndham on a date? Yes. A restaurant in Concord where no one could recognize us. And how long have you been sleeping with Mrs. Wyndham? Three months. And your boyfriend's name is Chuck. Right. <laughs> I asked Mr. Salvatore. I was con confused. Mm. I thought you said friend. Chuck is just a friend. Yeah. You bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was really funny. That was amazing. Uh, that still doesn't rule him out as bi. I know, right? Silence in my courtroom! Mm. Like, he could literally save that by just being like, I like both. Yeah. <laughs> Callahan asked to see you before you leave. He already has his coffee, but maybe he needs a donut. Oh. Do you need any help? No, I'm fine. Okay, bye. I like that they're friends now. Yeah. I like that they're showing that it's like, dude, yeah, she has to put up with shit too because of the same kind of internalized prejudice that yeah. people have been showing to her. Absolutely. You followed your intuition today and you were right on target. I, I should have listened. Thank you. Well, you just weren't creative enough to get the answer out of him. Yeah. About the alibi. I'm sorry. I'm impressed but... that you took the initiative to go there and get it. And on top of that, you gained the client's trust and kept it. That's what makes a great lawyer. Mm. Mm. You're smart, Al. Smarter than most of the guys on my payroll. That's good. Give her the props. And a job. She has earned it. Have you thought about where you might be a summer associate? Not really. I know it's very competitive. Well, you know what competition's really about, don't you? Ferocity. Carnage. I don't like where this is going. Wait, what? Balancing human intelligence with animal diligence. Ah, uh, that's an interesting description of competition. How far will L? Wait. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Are you hitting on me? Yeah. You're a beautiful girl. Oh. oh. So everything you just said? He's not even hitting on her. 
He's basically trying to blackmail her or extort her. Kind of. I'm a man who knows what he wants. And I'm a law student who just realized her professor is a pathetic asshole. Well, it's basically, you get the job if you sleep with me. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah. So totally extorting. Man, I thought you were a law student who wanted to be a lawyer. That's uh, bribing, I guess. I don't know exactly what it's the... It's gross. That's it's what it wrong is. is what it That's is. That's what it is. Okay, I didn't know that was going that way. It's disappointing. Should have seen it coming, really. And yeah. of course, she makes assumptions. You almost had me fooled. What? Oh, well, maybe you should sleep with the jury, too. Then we can win the case. Yo, what makes you think she did that? She clearly left. Her assumptions. Yeah, but like... She's gone. Yeah. She's not with him right now. Yeah. She clearly oh, hasn't slept with him. I mean, they could be meeting somewhere else. Yeah, but... It would be pretty stupid to fuck in the office, actually. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are pretty stupid. Oh, yeah. This whole internship was a mistake. What are you talking about? You earned it. Callahan only gave me that internship because he liked the way I looked. She made clear tonight when he tried to feel me up. Callahan did what? Yeah. Just forget about it. I'm going back to LA. And it would be kind of hard to sue a lawyer, too. What the hell with Callahan? Yeah, just be a lawyer somewhere else. S stay. I mean, yeah, no, don't stay because Callahan's a fucking creep. Call me if you're ever in California, okay? Yeah. Do law in California. I mean, I think he just wants her to stay. Well, she shouldn't have to leave, to no, be fair. shouldn't have to, but I can understand her wanting to. Yeah. Then what's the point of staying, Paulette? I mean, no one's ever going to take me seriously. People at law school don't. Warner doesn't. Fuck Warren. Warner. Whatever. It's worse. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Warner is worse. Yeah. It just felt like for the first time that someone expected me to do something more with my life. Callahan never saw me as a lawyer. He just saw me as a piece of ass. Hey, still do the thing though. Yeah. The hell with law school. <laughs> if you're going to let one stupid prick ruin your life. Nice. You're not the girl I thought you were. I love that we get a turnaround on her too. Mm. Oh, I'm guessing she's been there before. Oh, yeah. Knowing how you're going to discredit Mr. Salvatore. Oh, absolutely. It's a little thing I like to call strategy. Is he always such an ass? Of course he's an ass. Fine, but is he an ass that's going to win my case? <laughs> we'll see. He thinks I'm guilty, doesn't he? Yes. He definitely thinks that. If he doesn't trust me, why should I trust him? Ask Al. She looked pretty cozy with him last night. Oh, dude. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, you actually don't. It's true. What's going on here? Callahan hit on her, so she quit. Scumbag. There you go. Oh, God. Make assumptions, make an ass of you and me. I feel terrible. I made a huge mistake. I'm glad that she at least feels this way. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe there's something we can do about it. They did a great job with the casting of this movie. What are you so happy about? You're on trial for murder. You're fired. I have new representation. Who? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just straight up L. Just by yeah. herself. I got this. Yes. Oh, and her friend, tall guy. I don't know his name. It is. It's weird, dude. Yes. Love it. Hey. Go with God. <laughs> You're in my way. She's a law student. She can't defend you. Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court ruling. C. Thank you, David. Counselors. Ah, David. Approach the bench. You're not going up there. Oh, yes, I am. What are you going to do to stop her? L. Woods, Your Honor. The law student may appear on behalf of a defendant. Your Honor, I have no problem with this. Of course you don't. Yeah. You need a licensed attorney to supervise you. That I won't agree to. Yep, here's one. Emmett. I'll supervise, Your Honor. Step there up. You go. Well then, Ms. Woods, proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Do the thing. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. The other lawyer is just so hyped. <laughs> <laughs> I hope his nose is okay. I'm sure it is. Ow! We came to see your trial. Why are you yelling about it? There's like a judge in everything. <laughs> oh my God. Vote for Al! Ladies, take a seat. I'm sorry, vote? F They're a bit confused, but they got the spirit. Yeah. The whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. You're gonna lie through her teeth. Oh yeah. Not only is there no proof in this case, but there's a complete lack of mens rea, which tells us that there can be no crime without a vicious will. You gotta speak more confidently. I am aware of the meaning of mens rea. Yes, Your Honor. Um thrown at the deep end. When you arrived back at the house, was your father there? Not that I saw. When you came downstairs, I saw Brooke standing over his body. Mrs. Wyndham didn't have a gun. No, she'd stashed it by then. Strike that from the record, Your Honor. It's speculation. So stricken. Fair. Got your back. Did you hear a shot fired? No, I was in the shower. She would still hear a shot. Yeah, gunshots are pretty loud. Sometime in the 20 minutes that you were in the shower, your father was shot. I guess. But you didn't hear the shot because... Loud water? Because you were in the shower? 
Yes. That's that's it. I was washing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> what had you done earlier that day? I got up, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. Uh oh. Were you got in the shower? I believe the witness has made it clear. After a perm? Yeah. She was in the shower. <laughs> Smack some fuckers. <laughs> had you ever gotten a perm before? Yes. Two a year since I was 12. So you literally always have that hair like that. You know, a girl in my sorority got a perm once. Curls weren't a good look for her. She didn't have your bone structure. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> she entered the Beta Delta Pi wet t-shirt contest, completely hosed down from head to toe. Objection. Is this relevant? Oh, I have a point. She's getting there. Yeah. Then make it. You might want to let her listen. I mean, talk. Let her talk. Isn't it the first rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocalate? Yes. Yep. Yes. And wouldn't somebody who's had 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule? Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs. You would have had to have found Mrs. Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. How would you feel if your father married someone who was your age? Definitely weird. Oh, yeah. I thought it was you walking through the door. Yeah, I had a feeling it was the kid. Yep. Order, order. Oh, don't make the murder okay, but get feeling weird for sure. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she will be charged for the murder of the hey. <laughs> She made like the daughter and fucking killed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go. Yeah, you gotta appreciate that she used her like beauty knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Well, no knowledge is inherently bad knowledge. Oh, poor Boston. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. Except yeah. for the knowledge that destroys your mind and your soul. Oh yeah. Rules of hair care are simple and finite. Any Cosmo girl would have known. <laughs> help, help. Ooh, bud. Oh, this What are you dick. doing? I just wanted to say that you were so brilliant in there. Yeah, she was. I was wrong. Yeah, she didn't care. It's too late for that, though. You are the girl for me. Oh, oh. God. Really? Yes. Dude. Who bear? Are you fucking serious? I love you. Whipping out the poo bear? You seriously? love her because she's impressive. Mm. I've waited so long to hear you say that. Not crush him. But if I'm going to be a partner in a law firm, I need a boyfriend who's not such a complete bonehead. Mm, <laughs> squeeze. <laughs> yes. Squeeze. <laughs> Destroyed. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I present the graduates, class of 2004. For a second there, I really thought that she was somehow getting married to Luke Yeah, I'm really glad Whatever. they didn't go with that. <laughs> mm. Personally, very honored to introduce this year's class elected speaker with an invitation to Boston's most prestigious law firm. I am sure we are going to see great things from her. L. Woods. Nice. Yeah. You know, I haven't seen a Reese Witherspoon movie in a while. I'm glad we chose this one. Yeah. It was a fun one. Mm. On our very first day at Harvard, a very wise professor quoted Aristotle. <laughs> the law is reason free from passion. I have come to find that passion is a key ingredient to the study and practice of law and of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is with passion and strong sense of self that we take our next steps into the world. That is true for everything. Oh, yeah, 100%. You must always have faith in people. True. And most importantly, well, except for this schmuck. Yeah. You must always have faith in yourself. That's true. We did! Hey, good speech. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What? Just, <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad always has a martini. He's just that guy. He's just always sourced. <laughs> He's a functional alcoholic. Yeah. Aww. Aww the little <laughs> cow. I love that. Aww. Hey. Tom Tom. Yes. Nice. Excellent. Nice. I like that. Uh, Ooh, but you know, he does have that trust fund. Yeah, no, he's going to be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Brick. Hey, oh, I love how he's just the, the UPS, UPS guy. guy. Oh, they named the daughter L. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. Nice. nice. Yeah, I Good. had a feeling he was going to open his own. Yeah, I knew they would do that. Yeah, but I like that it wasn't in the movie. Yeah. They didn't have that be like the big, the big moment. Oh my God, she got like the guy and has this validation now. Yeah. And this is what I was saying. Her big, like, her big come up at the end wasn't just embarrassing him or, like, showing up the new girl or getting the new guy. Yeah, it was yeah. just her being successful. Oh, yeah. 
Just knowing that she could do whatever the hell she wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ha. Of course he is. That suit. Okay. Yeah, maybe not that suit. <laughs> So I guess that's it. Yeah, this is a fucking great movie. Like you were saying, I'm pretty glad that they didn't focus too heavily on the L and Emmett relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really just a good dude. Yeah, exactly. You know, I would have honestly been fine if they didn't even have the little after thing where yeah, they, yeah. they were dating or whatever. Yeah, so it would have been it would have been totally fine if it was just like nah they were just good friends yeah and don't get me it. wrong it's nice for those people who were shipping or whatever oh yeah but you know meh yeah all good yeah right bring it on coming up next and I think easy A easy A ah, that's right easy A after that yeah yeah so bring it on easy A we haven't decided after that maybe we'll do another series soon yeah but until next time you've been with Sam Steph and Weather, Weather Movie, Movie Buds, Buds.